we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readyourticket.com. Where is the big money made in stock forex and commodity markets? The answer readyourticket.com gives is that you follow the footsteps of the big boys, the informed, the composite man's accumulation or distribution campaigns. When the big boys want to buy um, or accumulate stock float or build up a position in forex or commodities, they actually go through a campaign of accumulating a position and also waiting until supply dies down. Because they know they want to build up a position, have supply dry up, and then mark up the price without any challenges from supply, if they could possibly can do that. So therefore, to to study a campaign of demand and supply, the best logic out there is Richard Wyckoff logic. And I underline that with Richard Nay logic. Both of them work well together. We also throw in some GAN angles and some um, cycles, here cycles, because they help you understand some of the um, symmetries which are going on in the market, and they're, they're very useful tools. So a bit of GAN, a bit of Hearst, and the Wyckoff campaign logic is the best way to make money of any degree in the markets. Way better than day trading or option trading, even though you can do that within these patterns. But if you can, if you can work out a campaign is going on, and you suddenly get the confidence that a campaign is there to mark up prices or mark down prices, you can react in many different ways to profit from it. Within the, um, the site's paid services, we have a service named RTT Plus. RTT Plus has another service within it called RTT Wyckoff Campaign. And within the service we follow, hopefully, some very well-defined campaigns, marking the footsteps along the way and waiting, and you know, in real time, because not everything works out, we have, to get, we have to go through the difficult ones as well as the easy ones to show how a campaign has been progressing and likely that we can profit from it, the entry points, the breakouts, and what have you. So this year we've had, a, I'm going to show off a couple of um, successes which have been going quite well. We, we monitor five at the moment. We've got three on the back burner which are work in progress, which I can't disclose because it's working out all right. But two which are coming to the end. I'm just going to show those off now to show how members have been enjoying the RTT WC service or the RTT Wyckoff campaign service. First we have, I think it's the Euro. We do commentary and explain the Wyckoff campaign with diagrams and notes up here. Plus there's more in our, in our menus explaining the detail between the NAY and the Wyckoff logic. If we scroll down here, we can see that the euro based for a long period of time. I think that's uh, a couple of years. Let me just check there. A couple of years, which is always good. You always want to see a long base. So that means good, solid accumulation. Buying, initial buying took up here. Some more accumulation going through here. The last shakeout here didn't see that supply dried up. And then we had a sign of strength. The last point of support. So last point of supply. And then a breakout of some sign of strength. And we've been following it. Since the spring here, the test of the spring, while the US dollar was topping. And we've enjoyed these moves. We, we've made our notes on where to enter or what have you. You can examine the notes above and, of the, and the dates of our thinking at each point in time. This is a weekly chart. So we follow the campaign from a state of confusion. This is phase B. This is phase B. This is the state of confusion to its state of... Um, where the composite man is starting to get control, we get higher lows, higher highs, and the volume comes in the right places, the pausing. We know that not all signs of strengths work out. Sometimes they collapse again. Sometimes the pattern changes. We do this in real time. So we not every Wyckoff pattern and Wyckoff campaign is picture perfect. There are some uh, very definite challenges we have. We have, we have to uh, watch out for them. So the Euro has been a good Wyckoff campaign to follow this last 12 months, and it's proven to be very successful. Obviously, long euro and short to dollar has other connotations out there, and other asset classes and um, stocks you can trade off, which is parallel to this type of campaign. Another uh, another um, campaign which, which which the members have enjoyed is a Freeport McMoran, is it? Yeah, McMoran, yeah. FCX. 
Now, this is obviously on the back of the copper um, reversal. Uh, once again, we had the, um, you know, the selling climax down here, automatic reaction. And as you can see, very good higher lows, testing going on, signs of strength, and finally the breakout after the last point of su supply. Last point of supply just goes to prove that there's no more supply around and it's free to mark it up. But as you can see, it was a much longer last point of supply. It was actually about three months, which is a bit unusual. But as we do this real time, we've got to put up with the real time problems. Looking, a lot of people out there put out your Wyckoff charts and they're all picture perfect, giving the impression that every time you see a picture like this, it's all got to be easy. But we do this real time, we mark them out, and we have our winners and we have our losers, we, and the losers uh, come back later when the, when the patterns has changed. We monitor the campaign in real time so members can learn the challenges and the tricks in the trade of what the big boys are up to and how they're trying to um, bust out the public from their, uh, from this trade. Because the, the big boys know that the Wyckoff logic is out there, they're using it, and they don't want to make it too easy um, for those Wyckoff followers out there. So they paint their chart to try to upset them. So there are tricks involved. But we do what we can to watch it real time and use our skills and, and uh, explain and interpret what's going on, to follow the tricks, to see the change in demand and supply. Hopefully you, when we uh, are bullish and we see the supply dry up based on our volume and studies, um, we get excited about taking positions that we have laid out in our mapping of what to do in these diagrams here. So Euro, the Euro and uh, Freeport McMoran have been very good trades the last 12 months. They've still got a bit to go, but we've enjoyed following them through the Wyckoff campaign logic, and we invite you to um, sign up and enjoy our future campaign studies. Thanks for watching.